What's going on everyone? This is Phil with Avid Films and I got my friend here, Johnson. And today we got a video about the Ranger XP-1000. This is actually his Ranger, so I'm going to ask him some questions and let him take over. Alright, Johnson, tell us about your Ranger. What year model and all that? Uh, this is the 2020. So, uh, the only thing that really changed from the 2019 to the 2020 um, was the frame. It's a one solid piece frame, makes you a little bit stronger. Uh, like I said, this is XP-1000. Uh, we did go ahead and get them to outfit it with a uh, six inch lift, 32 inch tires with the uh, fuel race rims. Um, I like the bumper, didn't need to buy that, but I like it, looks great. Um, and then we've got the wet sound sound bar up there. That's probably the cheapest, most durable way you're gonna go on any of these UTVs as far as getting some sound in there. It's not that loud, but it's plenty loud to mess your drums up being in the back seat or the front seat you know especially with the windshield now that we got uh, we just added the windshield probably two weeks ago i think it was and um it definitely is kind of a preference um you you, you kind of get this back wind coming in there as you're going down the road but you also don't have to wear your sunglasses every time you hop on the ranger so that's that's kind of nice um i'm definitely thinking in the summertime we'll probably take it off it's just going to get hot um, but it's the lock and ride windshield, it's glass. I think that's the best way you want to go if you're uh, not too big on having stuff break. Um, basically, it's just going to be like turn, turn, and then uh, pops right off. Oh, yeah. But uh, only takes four of them, there's two more on the other side. Um, only thing that I wish I had right now kind of is a mirror that would go up here. Um, this is the fortress roof, by the way. It's one of the cheaper options, but also, it's aluminum, so it's it's not going to rust. Um, and you would think that you don't need a mirror because you just like, oh, I'll just look back. But we drive it down the road a lot, and you'd be surprised how many times you're going down the road and you don't realize that there's somebody right behind you, <laughs> and you go to turn, and they're trying to go to turn to go around you. All right, man, let's talk prices. How much you pay for this bad boy? Uh, yeah, that's the that's the big thing everybody wants to know. Seems like. Um, I don't know what they come just regular MSRP. I know what my walkout price was. Um, I, with the lift, the tires, I got it all done there. I didn't do it myself, so that cost a little bit extra. I didn't want to do it myself. I don't know anything about this independent suspension stuff. Um, so I got them to do everything except for the windshield. Like I said, we just put it on. And I, we've had this thing like probably like a year. So with everything. Without the sound bar, we didn't yeah, pay yeah, for the sound no bar. No sound bar, no windshield. And the sound bar is like 400 and something. The windshield, it's like 700 something, but go in there and talk to them. Like whoever your dealer is, they can sell it to you for cheaper. They can sell it to you for like six something. So oh, yeah. yeah, so walkout price, the lift, the tires, the rims, and the bumper was right at 24,000. Now, the reason it wasn't more, and y'all are thinking probably that's already a lot, but it should have been more, but I didn't have to pay taxes on it. Because if you know somebody or you, I say know somebody, I have family that has plenty of land, so they have a tax exemption card for their ag exempt, and we use it to work on the land. Um, and whether you use it to work on the land or not really doesn't make a difference, but as long as you can prove that you have somebody's land that you work on that has a tax exempt card, you get the card, you get the number, you give it to them, and then you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Um, pretty nice, it would have been about another 1500 to 25,500 out the door, but instead 24,000 out the door ready to go, and uh, definitely pretty nice. All right, man, let's talk about these storage compartments. As you can see, this thing's got storage all over. Just look at the underneath the front seat. It goes all the way to the back. You can put your yeah. guns or whatever you want there. Yeah, that's, that's the gun storage. Everybody likes to slide the gun cases in there. There was kind of a like big calling for that. People wanted to be able to store their guns there and not have some kind of random rack thrown on here that they had to pay for. Um, and plus, those racks just kind of take up space. Yeah, uh, with the 2019s and the 2020s, they added what they desperately needed and what everybody called for, which is the cup holders. God, there's so many cup holders in here, and there used to be, if y'all have ever seen any Rangers before, they One. used to have a total of like, I want to say it was like two down down here, and then the one on each side, but it was like a little slot one. It didn't really do anything for you. As you can see, you still okay, have a slot one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight just up front. Yeah, so you got eight just up front, two more in the back for your uh, passengers. Um, so, you know, we're talking 10 just cup holders and for no reason <laughs> you, you, you don't think you're gonna need them but you do you know you, i mean you're putting off or other than other than drinks you know you know your beer and stuff like that you're putting off spray and everything else in there as well 
What about um, under the seats? We got any under the seats? Yeah, storage? we got some under the seat storage. Um, it does. I don't put anything in there. Just like, I mean, like, what are you gonna put in there that you're pulling the seat all the time? But um, there it is, kind of dirty, as you can tell. It does have two drain holes for whenever it gets uh, wet down in there. It, whenever you wash it, it'll just drain right out the bottom. Also, we have some in the back, but again, not necessarily a whole lot of stuff to do in there. And that's where your battery's at, is underneath here. So, and, and that's why it's really easy to run the wet sounds bar or anything else, because it's literally just right there. It's like four foot, five foot cord. All right, so it's also got the lift gate. Um, they all come with that, but very nice whenever you're like picking up sticks or picking up leaves around the yard, you know, and just throwing them off in there and then you back up to the burn pile and just push down a little bit, pick up. And then there it is, you know, of course you have the tailgate drop down. But um, yeah, and I mean, there's your 1000 engine in there. It's the same engine as the uh, Razor 1000, not the 1000 turbo. It, it doesn't have the same amount of horsepower as the one with the turbo. Um, it also doesn't have the same amount as the 1000 uh, Razor, and that's just because of the computer programming. So they program it down a little bit. Don't know why, maybe for working and stuff like that. Um, just so whenever the warranty goes down um, and it's over with, you can send that over to, there's like two, comp two, two companies that are really known for it. Um, send it over to them. You have to take the computer out. Really not that big of a deal though. Send it over to them, they'll flash it, or send it back to you. Um, you can get a clutch kit and that's gonna bring it up to the same power as the uh, Razor 1000. Let's, while we're talking about performance, we can talk about the different modes. Um, as you can see in here, we've got the uh, the switches there for the different modes. Right now, it's in performance, but uh, performance, it really, really all this is doing is just making your throttle more or less sensitive it's i i want to say the work one doesn't actually give you all the power so you're not you can never get there but with a standard one you can actually access all the power but it just takes further for your foot to go down on the pedal you know as far as trying to get that power yeah accelerations was slower yeah the with the performance you don't have to push it as far and it's, it's really touchy as far as the different modes you have the single wheel wheel rear drive yeah which is um, basically just has your differentials able to move to where, you know, if you get up on the side, one tire starts spinning, kind of give you, take that power away from you so you don't flip it over. Um, you can lock it into two wheel drive in the back and lock that differential. Um, and that just makes them, like I said, turn at the same speed. Everybody knows how that works. But it does kind of kill your turn radius a little bit as if this is already not bad enough. Um, the turn radiuses are horrible. Um, the two seater, not, not bad at all. Don't know why I understand it's longer, but like, I feel like it doesn't even turn as sharp as a two seater. My dad's got a two seater. And, and plus if you're going to be turning around on hard ground, you don't want that locked in anyway. You're liable to break something. Um, mostly just for, like I said, playing around. Other thing is going to be, you know, the, then you got four wheel drive and all that stuff. But anyway, you can swap all that on the fly. Um, anything under 25 miles an hour, swap it, uh, which is pretty nice. The top speed is governed. Um, again, whenever you flash that computer, you can get that taken off. Also, top speed without the seatbelt on, they make you put the seatbelt on, um, is 15 miles an hour. So if you don't have that clicked in, you're not going over 15. Other than getting it flashed or getting the computer done to where it doesn't mess with you like that, you're going to be, like I said, top speed's going to be 56 miles an hour or 50, 55-ish. Um, it goes faster than that just because the big tires are on it. but what the computer reads is 55, 56. And then um, whenever you get it back from that flashing, you know, you're, you're gonna be able to get on up there like the Razor does. Convenience, is it convenient? God, it's convenient. Uh, anybody can use it, so I just, you know, leave it parked around here around the house and my mom or whoever needs to, she likes to pick up sticks and do stuff in the evening. She can do whatever she wants. Uh, take the trash, we actually take the trash about a mile down the road to a big dumpster, so it's way better than having to load up in your truck every time. Um, I use it for a company. Uh, a lot of times it's sitting on the job site, so uh, it holds my air compressor and a hose reel, and it's and it's probably speeded my time up hours. I mean, we used to have to move the generator every time, so now just having this out there is great. Um, it'll pull around a trailer all over the dirt hills and stuff like that, never get stuck. It's great, it'll pull that trailer. Um, around up and down those hills so whenever I need to move it that's my full trailer so it kind of holds everything 
Uh, it does get used a lot. We have a boat ramp right down here for the river. And um, it gets used a lot for people that have two-wheel drive vehicles and they get stuck and I just go down there and pull them right out. Um, it's got plenty of power for it. We can, I can put the, uh, the jet skis that he owns in with it very easy. Um, I haven't tried a boat on it. I'm sure to do fine on anything other than like a ski boat or something, which is pretty heavy. Um, but other than that, man, very convenient to have around. Can't complain at all. Um, other thing with convenience, kind of goes with it. It's smooth. God, it's smooth. Uh, I've, we've had a lot of rangers in the past, and they're just ridiculously rough as far as, you know, we have a lot of ant hills around here. But with the lift kit, it is, uh, it is smooth. Now, I, I thought maybe just because it was a 2020 is why it was so smooth. But it turns out that the lift actually helps a lot, and that's just because the suspension travel it has so much more than when it comes stock. Um, my buddy just recently bought a 2020. He did not get it uh, lifted. Um, they probably never will just because they don't like to do that type of stuff. But um, his is not nearly as smooth. Just like I said, I, I figured it would be just all 2020s, but it's definitely not. It, it has something to do with that lift kit. Uh, so high lifter, definitely uh, where it's at. All right, man, appreciate you giving us all that information about it. But for right now, we're going to take this thing out for a spin and kind of let you see what it can do. Woo-hoo! <laughs>